Hello everyone, today I want to show you how I achieve this really cool but simple transition effect. This can all be done right here in the editing tab and doesn't really require any complicated fusion node setup. Okay, so as you can see here I have the starting clip and this transitions to the second clip which is the uh, shot of the book and me closing the book. As you can see in the initial stages of this shot here I give it enough time of just the camera aimed at the book and just nothing happening to give enough time for the actual animation to take place. So I just let it, let it slide <coughs> and then I close the book. Okay, so for this you're gonna have three stages. Stage one is when you're gonna take the book clip and you're gonna superimpose the other clip onto one of the pages. And then you're gonna take a paper texture and just put it over that to kind of blend it into the page. Stage two is when you animate a zoom out from the page and then you also mirror the zoom out animation with the actual clip. So you want it to look like you're zooming out from the first clip and then it kind of transitions and fades into the other clip where it zooms out. Stage three is when you compound both of them and then you add a camera shake effect to kind of add to the realism of the overall effect. Okay, so the first thing is we are going to take the first clip, put it on a layer above and put the second clip under that clip. We're going to take the first clip, we're going to go to the transform section and we are going to size it down. Just going to zoom in, size it down, and just position it in the center. Okay, so I've changed the zoom and the position to make it look like it's actually on the page. As you can see, it doesn't look realistic at all. It doesn't look like it actually belongs on the page. So what you're going to do is you're going to go down to the composite section. You're going to go to the composite mode. You're going to go change from normal to soft light. Then you go to soft light. As you can see, immediately it kind of looks like it blends in the page, but we're not done yet. We're going to use a paper texture, which you can get from a link that I'm going to put in the description, or you can just go to Google and search paper texture or something like that. I'm going to take my one and I'm going to drag it on top of both of the clips. There we go. And I'm just going to size it to fit that uh, clip that's on the page now. So I'm just going to go back to transform and I'm going to size it down to fit the clip. And as you can see the top and the bottom doesn't fit like the sides the length kind of fits but the height doesn't so i'm gonna just go to crop and i'm gonna crop the top and the bottom until it kind of fits uh. and there we go okay so once you've used the cropping tool to fix the top and the bottom and overall just made sure that the texture fit the actual clip that's on the page as you can see it blocks the the page now so what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the composite section and go to composite mode and go to soft light and there we go as you can see i'm going to take this away it doesn't make much of a difference but it does add some of that paper texture to the actual page i think youtube might ruin the quality of this overall video so you might not be able to see the actual change but it's, it's just a little thing that adds to the to the realism and blends the actual clip well onto the page Okay, so that concludes stage one, which is making the clip look like it's already on the page. That's stage one. Now we're going to go to stage two, which is animating the zoom effect to make it look like it transitions from that clip and pulls back the camera onto the actual journal, which is in the second clip. Okay, so for the beginning of the second stage, we're going to take all of these layers. We are going to compound them and I'm going to call them second hole. Here we go. Okay, so this is the second part of the transition. We're going to take that to one side. We're going to take the first clip, which is the actual the beginning of the transition. And we are going to put this on top. And we're going to take the compound layer. We're going to put that under. And then you're going to lower the opacity of the first layer. So you can see under. And then you just want to match the size of the uh, second layer to the first layer. So that the actual first clip that's on the page, it matches the size of the actual clip that it's going to transition from. So I'm going to go back to transform. As you can see, here's the character on the second layer. It's smaller because it's superimposed onto the journal. And this is the actual size. So you want to match this, the layer to this size. So you're going to go to transform. You're going to size it up. You're going to position it to where it kind of lines up. And you are just going to keep on moving it until it kind of matches. Okay, so as you can see, I'm always got the sizing of the bottom layer to the top layer. As you can see, it kind of lines up pretty well. 
Okay, so once you've lined up the size and the positioning of the clip that's on the page in the journal to the actual clip, you're going to select both of them, drag them forward, and you want to give a bit more length to the first clip because you want it to play a bit before the actual transition starts. So I'm going to take the first clip and I'm just going to extend it a bit and see if that's long enough. Yeah, I think that works. I'm going to make the uh, opacity normal again. Okay, so once I've ensured that there's enough space in the beginning for the first clip to just play out before it actually starts the transition, I'm going to go to where the two clips intersect, which is where the transition is going to start. I am going to just lower the opacity of the first clip so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to make sure I'm selecting the bottom clip, which is the second half compound clip. And then I'm going to make a keyframe for the zoom and the position. And I'm just going to let it play until there. And then I'm just going to bring it all back to where it started. Okay, okay, so just to show you how I line them up, I'm going to take the top clip and I'm going to lower the opacity here. And as you can see, the clip that is actually on the page is lined up exactly in the same position and the same zoom. So now you can see how it transitions out and then I, my hand comes in and I close the book. So now what we want to do is we want to fade away the top clip as it zooms out into the journal to make it look like the paper covers it and then it zooms out into the journal. So you would think now that you want to actually transition from this first clip to the second clip where it zooms out, all you would need to do is to get rid of the clip until we, uh, the transition actually happens. But if you see, we do that, it's a harsh cut that doesn't look realistic. I want it to be very subtle and realistic where it almost looks like the paper fades over it and then it zooms out as it's on the page. So uh, maybe you'd think, okay, then that means you add a dissolve effect. But as you can see, as it zooms, you, s you can clearly see that the clip above doesn't animate with it, it doesn't zoom out with it. So what you actually want to do is you want to animate this zooming out with that clip. Okay, so to do that you're going to lower the opacity. And then you're just going to take, make sure you're selecting the first clip. You're going to make a keyframe for position and zoom. And you're just going to follow the clip as it zooms out. So I'm just going to zoom in here so I can make sure. And I'm just going to play forward a bit. And then I'm going to also follow this. I'm going to zoom out. And I'm just going to make it bigger. As you can see, I have the top clip completely um, superimposed over the first clip. If I make the opacity of the first clip strong, you can see it's the same clip. I'm just slowly animating it to fit the actual book. And then when I cross dissolve, it'll actually look like it's fading correctly onto the book. So let me just uh, go forward a few more frames. And I'm just going to keep, I'm going to keep following it by making it small. I'm going to keep imposing it over and over and over until it stops zooming out. Okay, so I'm done animating the top layer to follow the zoom out of the second layer. Let me just hit play and show you exactly what I did. So it breathes and then it zooms out with the book. But as you can see, it doesn't look realistic. Now it kind of erased all that work that we did on the second layer where we um, superimposed the clip and made it look like it's actually part of the paper. So what we're going to do is we're going to now do that uh, cross dissolve. And it won't look. And it won't look unrealistic now because we we animated it with the paper, so it doesn't look like it stays there while the second layer just goes away in the background. So now that I added the resolve, you're gonna see now with the animation how it looks. Okay. Another thing you can also do, you might have to do to uh, do this transition is, as you can see, when my hand comes in, it moves the book but the actual clip that's superimposed over it doesn't move with it so it kind of adds an unrealistic bit to it and that what i did in the film that i made when i used this transition is i actually animated the clip just in the last bit it doesn't take too much work it just that last bit you animate it with the movement of the book so i'm going to go back into um, the compound clip by right clicking and going open in timeline and then i'm just going to animate the movement of the clip with the book as it moves and i'm also going to do the same for the paper texture so as you can see, I'm scrubbing along just until I see the, that's where it moves. I'm going to select the clip. I'm going to keyframe the position. I'm going to move a few frames, going to follow that movement. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I see it looks realistic. It follows that, move, that slight movement uh, with the book. Okay, so it's very subtle, but as you can see here, it, it just sl it shifts slightly with the book. So it kind of looks like it's on the book. Okay, this concludes stage two of the effect. It looks quite good now, but like I said, I want to add that extra realism by adding that camera shake effect so it looks almost like it's handheld. And it just adds that extra layer of believability to the transition. 
Okay, so for stage three, you're gonna select both of these clips. You're gonna compound them. I'm gonna call them final, final, there we go. Then we're gonna go over to the OpenFX panel and we're gonna search camera shake. There we go. And then we just fiddle with the overall camera shake effect and just make it look a bit more realistic by going to the motion and speed, just make it a bit less fast, but the, motion, uh, the motion a bit smaller. Then we go down to the actual settings here, the randomness, and we just crank up the randomness so it feels a bit more realistic. Pause length, randomness of speed, so it's more random with the speed, randomness of scale. We go play and just see how it feels. I think it's a bit too fast, so I'm gonna go here, just make it less. There we go, maybe make the motion a bit bigger, speed a bit less. And there you go, that's how you get this really cool paper journal transition kind of effect without really worrying about any complicated fusion effects setup.